Hey guys, Jason here. I'm back and I'm super excited because it's beer review time. And tonight I'm doing something a little different. I'm reviewing a home brew done by my friend Ryan. He uh, runs the brewery, or I should say the home brewery, uh, Dong Hill. And I couldn't be more excited because he brewed his first New England IPA. Typically, he brews different styles of beer, the more unique, funky, out of this world styles that I'm not super into, but. He's been hyping this one up for me for a while, and I couldn't be more excited. The name of this beer is Terra Nueve, and it means new land. It's also named after a Newfoundland in France. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this open. It is a hazy IPA. Oh. Brewed with uh, six hops, and I think the hops are uh, Citra, uh, Australian Galaxy, Vic Secret, El Dorado, German Hell Mullen, and Mosaic. So quite the mix here. Getting a nice little uh, scent right off the bat. Well, something I was excited about was this is a darker bottle, but as soon as I got it from Ryan, uh, I could see just how hazy it was, and I was really pumped up about that. He's definitely getting the color here, as you can see. I'll go ahead and show you guys the color up and close. Super hazy, can't see through it at all. Nice hay straw color. I think his goal was to have a fruity character in the hop aroma, and I'm getting that here. Getting a lot of uh, grapefruit and citrus, getting a little bit of orange here. A little bit of melons coming out. Beautiful, not a lot of foam at the top, which I like. Sometimes when I get a lot of foam at the top, I feel like I'm getting gypped beer-wise, but uh, not tonight. I'm getting a full pour of deliciousness, and I hope it tastes delicious too. So Ryan, thank you very much for giving this to me. I hope I do this beer justice with a review, and cheers. Let's see what I think. Immediately, immediately, I'm getting tons of grapefruit. I feel like I'm actually eating a grapefruit at Passover dinner. This is really, really good. Um, I'm actually really impressed. I was kind of sweating this one a little bit. I was afraid I wouldn't like it and that I would have to kind of be mean in the review and I'd feel bad, but that's not the case. Uh, Ryan told me there wasn't a lot of bitterness in this. I would disagree. I'm getting a lot of bitterness in the back end and in the finish. I'm getting a little bit of citrus and uh, lime zest with this as well, but super grapefruity. Really easy drinking. This is a pretty solid IPA. Um, I'm impressed, Ryan. You need to do more of these and not wait forever. This is really, really good. Uh, in terms of review, I rate a lot of IPAs, as you know. They're one of my favorite, uh, there is my favorite beer styles, IPAs and stouts. And I would say this one kind of stands up to the uh, test of the rest of them. really good. A little bit of sediment in the end, but that's to be expected for a home brew. Like I said, really, really grapefruity. Um, I'm going to go with a 4.25 on this, Ryan, and for those viewers of you at home, this is excellent. Most of you probably won't ever try this beer, but uh, this is something I definitely could see myself picking up off the shelf and going to a brewery and getting fresh on draft. Uh, it's really good, and I'm really impressed. Uh, so thank you, Ryan. Uh, I'm glad you gave me two bottles of this, because I'm going to enjoy another one later tonight, too. 4.25. Keep a lookout for untapped ratings for Dong Hale. If Brian ever decides to leave his job and start a brewery, he's going to do well. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.